let your shoulders kind of go back and drop down. And know that you're awesome, know that you're cool. Lift your uh, chest up, reach out and just stretch a little bit. Get ready to get on this next set, ready? And bend over, stretch your, to your toes a little bit. All right. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was my knees. Like, oh, gosh. Oh. I just like moved my knee and they cracked a little. I like to hold my sets up like this, too, so I don't have to concentrate on a number or anything. That was a good stretch. Come on over here now. I'm going to jump on set number seven. And, uh,. So I'm at oh yeah, sure. So, okay. That sounds super cool. Seven sets. Okay, I'm gonna keep powering through, get at least up to set number eight. Set number eight. Sounds sweet, bro. Yeah, my uh, TikTok is uh, TikTok Jamie Ski. That's my uh, TikTok. And we'll click on that like later. After the stream, we'll click on that link and check out your workout. And that sounds awesome. Thanks, man. Be cool. Um, and we'll keep inspiring each other. And imagine what we can create. Just starting like right here on Twitch. All right, number nine coming up for me. Good to like flex after your uh, set too. Try to flex the muscle you're working on. Oh, that's awesome! Toby said you guys already inspired me. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Yeah, that's beautiful because you inspire us also. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. I gotta remember, I can't remember, I'm on, uh, can't 
for good. I'm on set. No. One more set to go. I'm on 60. And like, you know, the fitness journey, it's like, oh, you know, it's not about getting muscles, really. Although we're going to get muscles. We're going to get ripped, you know. It's more about, you know, creating our heart strong, making our body and our soul and our mind strong. And it's about building relationships that are solid, that you can trust. Get to the next set. I got one more set to do. I'm gonna see what this person said. Yo, what's up? Welcome, other person, to the stream. We'll see what you said in just a minute. Watch out, baby. Hi. I'm on my last set here. Nice to meet you. Super set, awesome set done for our awesome adventures. Oh, I got. Oh, let's see. Uh, next workout. What? I got you on my back. Oh yeah, okay. you want to show that real quick? Check Look this at out. This. His name on my back. In case you forget I spell my name. <laughs> Let's get a close up, buddy. Yeah, we actually did this tattoo in a live broadcast. And doing my name, it didn't really hurt her. Nope, it didn't hurt. And it then this started hurt. to hurt her, this part did. Yeah, this part did. Then we went over it. it. But uh, yeah, it was super fun uh, doing it in a, a live broadcast, doing the uh, tattoo. <laughs> Bring it back down to the ground. Oh, so I did 170 push-ups, so I got... Yeah, we're getting lazy, so like this uh, really mean like sergeant guy like came around. <laughs> um, his name's like Sergeant... I can't say his last name. But, um, so he gave us a punishment kind of for being lazy. So she's doing 200 push-ups. I just did an awesome set. So I better keep busy. I'm gonna do some shoulder shrugs right now and we're gonna see like what all we can do like live here on twitch you know maybe we'll do a boxing we've got some boxing gloves right here me and her want to do some uh, boxing and this is our african gray parrot orion we had her out just a minute ago hanging out so you might hear her talking in our broadcast 180? Yeah. Dang, she just did 180 push-ups. Well, I'm going, I was going by 20s, and now I'm kind of, I'm at 180, so then I'm going to, maybe I'll do a 20 to get to uh, 200. You're at 180 now? Yeah, Maybe pop out, take a few breaths, do another 10. And then get to 90? Yeah, and then take a break, rest for about 30 seconds, and then pop out that last 10. Good job, 200 push-ups, what a boss. So yeah, like, sometimes life gets like uh, hard, sometimes it's happy or sad. Maybe you start overeating a little bit. I mean, me and her, we kind of just started having too much fun, like eating cookies, ice cream. I got up to like 270 one year ago, and then I started a series called Best Shape of Our Lives. A 
now I'm doing this live series called Hit It Hard. So now I'm down to like 210, like 200 to 210. So it feels good to be back, you know, feeling like myself again. 190. One, whoa, 190. I'm just sitting here like talking. She did like 190 <laughs> push ups. Like, amazing. And we're going to be doing other stuff here on Twitch too. <laughs> we'll do some interviews with, um, well, definitely with our parrot. You know, meet her interviewing our beautiful parrot. Probably the best, best shows there. And who knows who we might come have come over to the show. Dang, she's going strong. We're going to see these last time. That is the last time. Dang. 200 Ooh, push ups. So tough. I don't know how long that was either. <laughs> Pretty quick. Jump up and take a few breaths. Woo! It's okay, Orion. <laughs> take a nice big deep breath. And then breathe out. Know that you're awesome. Know that you're loved. And you don't need a lot of people, you know, to love you. You just need one person. Even if that one person is at times, maybe yourself. You, know, you need to make sure you love yourself so you can love the people around you. And we gotta stay strong and be healthy, you know? Don't ever do any kind of steroids or anything like that. You know, stay strong. Take care of your body. Hey, Ryan, what's up? She's hey. just like hanging out over there. All right, let's do some shoulder shrugs. And we're going to get you on some chest flies. I'll do some shoulder shrugs. Oh, okay. Sweet. We'll switch it up a little. Go and grab your weights over there, baby. Grab your little dumbbells there. Okay. Oh, those are heavy. I'm and then come on around this up. way. Careful of that. Okay, baby. And then you can go ahead and do... Um, uh, flip around the other way. Oh, the other way? Go like this. I'm going to lay down. So then otherwise you might hit your head there. Oh, yeah. Good good looking out. Yeah. Usually I don't have the bar there, but when we're doing this, but it looks kind of cool. So it's kind of all for, uh, because it looks cool. <laughs> and it's nice to lean on. All right. So we're going to have you do, we better do sets of five. I did a super set, but I also didn't do the 200 push-ups. Um, oh, actually, since you did the 200 push-ups, we're going to have you do sets of three. Oh, sets of three? Yeah. So when I you start working out, you want to, you feel strong still? Yeah, I feel strong. Oh, yeah, she's like a bike. Yeah, I got this. All right, we're going to hit it hard today. She's doing sets of five. Woo! Nice. Remember, work on your breathing. Those, right? Yeah? Yep. These are your chest flies right here. I started my workout journey with just a set of dumbbells. I didn't even have those at first. First, I just started doing a thousand crunches a day. And I, then I got the dumbbells later. And I did it with just a set of slides, no shoes even. And that was my workout for a year. I kind of punished myself. And now I'm almost back in shape. It's okay. I lost, um, I was 168 pounds and I lost 17 pounds. Now I'm 152. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, stretch a little and breathe in between. And Toby, you mentioned you weren't on my Instagram at our awesome adventures. And uh, you see that um, we like going on walks and stuff a lot, bike rides and stuff. And um, we'll take these weights out on walks, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's another good thing, the, the biking, walk carrying these things around. Let's see you do some more. Oh. And 
knowing that you're walking again, like that's beautiful, bro. Like, I'm so proud of you for being so strong. That's awesome. Wow, really good form. And now we need to start like finding out like things to fill our bodies with the, with our food that we eat. You know, like me, like I love like chocolate chip cookies, ice cream, cake, mint chocolate chip. Like, That's my favorite. You know, <laughs> but um, you know, no more of that stuff. From now on, you gotta fill your fridge. Like we have ours, we got spinach, kale, chicken. That's essential. Lots of chicken breast, sirloin steak, Canadian bacon. Not to be confused with bacon. Pork chops, uh, lean hamburger beef, buffalo meat, buff like big beef, buffalo beef burger is good. And uh, eggs. And I love my milk. I still drink milk, chocolate milk. And uh, yeah, that's a pretty good start. And when I get like feeling like a cookie or something, I'll get a banana, slice it down the middle, and put some Justin's almond vanilla peanut butter right down the middle. And or I'll just take like a spoonful of that almond butter. And I particularly like that flavor. And it kind of takes away the uh, the urge to eat chocolate and stuff. This is my third set. Okay. Yeah, three sets. Dang, she's a boss. And yeah, I developed this workout series over the years. Like, I've gotten into shape a few different times in my life. So, this is a workout series that I developed and like... <laughs> Not trying to make money off it, not trying to, uh, you know, just kind of like spreading the love and getting some people to work out with us, you know. So make sure you don't believe any of the crap you read in the fitness magazines. It's a bunch of crap. It's a lot of people around gear and uh, you don't want to take their advice because they're obviously not fit. They're um, addicts, not healthy fitness people. So you don't want to take their advice. Oh, cool. That's good. We're gonna set our uh, bigger TV up in here later so we can see everything that you uh, say really good. Kind of fun broadcasting here in our little living gym. I better get another set in. Make sure you really squeeze on the top when you do your shoulder shrug. You're going to really squeeze your chest together at the top. Hold it just a little. Set number four. Set four, is it? I'm just going to do it. Yeah, we'll call it set four. Might be five, but if you F up and forget, right. well, you got to go back and do it after set. That's how I do it. Yeah. And um, we really got to all do the crunches together. The crunches are awesome. Like, I started doing them probably in uh, maybe 2013. I started doing my 1,000 crunches a day. And, uh, yeah, it's fun. It's fun once you do it. I can do it in less than 10 minutes. And uh, we'll do it today with all of you. I'll do a thousand crunches. She'll do a thousand crunches. And it'll be easy. Uh, and if you don't respond for a minute, we'll go, we'll see the feed later too. And in case we miss something you said, we'll, we'll go look later. I'll come see what you said in a second too. Oh yeah, can you hear us pretty good? How's the uh, sound quality? We should do a sound check. One, two, one, two. Oh, I feel 
feels good. Woo! Let me see what you said now. Oh, okay, good. Dang, that's a beautiful. Uh, yeah, Toby said I weighed uh, 160, now I'm at 149. Whoa, that's good. And uh, the BMI is, say, 19. It's pretty good. Sweet. Good job. Oh, good. Yeah, that's really impressive. That's where it all starts is when you get a, you know, you drop that first little bit. And we got to remember, like, the scale is, like, more of just kind of, like, to help us keep in check. It, like, it's not, uh, you know, we don't got to get sad if we don't see the weight coming off because muscle is heavier than fat. So we're building muscle while we're losing fat. So if you look on the scale sometime and you're like, oh man, I'm like five pounds heavier than I was. You know, don't get discouraged, it's cool. It's okay, today. You know, could this, be water weight. This morning I had a bagel and um, bagels aren't good for you. So, so that's why I'm doing the, the sets five. <laughs> Yeah, but you've been doing so good. She, uh, over the last month, she cut out all the sugar out of her diet. And, like, you know, now she's like, oh, man, I had a bagel. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so I was like, it's good that that's the only thing bad that she's uh, putting into her body. And yeah. I'm going to cut mayonnaise and yeah, butter and stuff like that. Get rid of it. Get some coconut oil, some olive oil. And uh, I'm going to cook with you all, too. Um, we can uh, make some food together. I make really, really, really good Italian food. So, like, I can teach you uh, my, uh, my favorite sauce recipe. I like garlic and uh, basil, fresh basil, and olive oil. And I like to cook it for, you know, at least a good two, three hours at least. But um, I think that would be cool. It would be fun. We can just Woo. flip you around over here to the kitchen and uh, cook some food. And I like making sushi too. I love, I love rolling up some sushi. That's like a treat to me. You know, now that I've kind of been eating healthier, it's like, ooh, I want some sushi. Well, I feel the muscles. And I don't eat this right yeah. now, but, um, oh yeah, let me feel your muscles. Yeah, she actually has some muscles coming in. Before it was just like, just fat, <laughs> but it, it's cool now. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna get a couple more of these in. gotta check out like we don't we're like noobs on uh twitch you know so um hopefully uh you'll teach us things about this while we're on here like we gotta find all the rules out and stuff like we we're thinking about doing some boxing that would be pretty fun we have the uh have gloves <laughs> i mean i'm sure we can like as long as it's like, uh, I think we can box on here. Um, we should finish this workout though, and then maybe box right after. Um, I'm training her right now. Like, boxing is amazing for her. Like, my son, he started boxing and he's so good. He's got his uh, gym, he's got set up in his room the heavy bag, the double ended bag, the speed bag. And uh, me and him love sparring. And now she's starting to pick up on it too. And it's a good way to, uh, you know, relieve stress and, uh, you know, feel better. And it's fun. Like, when I box, I'll be tired. And then I'll do some boxing and I'll be, like, wide awake and feeling great. Um, Me too. Uh, I think it's important in life as you uh, get older and wiser to 
So remember back like when you were younger, like think about things you did when you were younger, like riding bicycles, playing with your Barbies, like, you know, maybe uh, playing baseball or, you know, things like that. Think of the things that you loved when you were younger and try to do those things. All right, let's keep going. And we also want to do some tattoos live on here. If we can, I think we can. Uh, if you guys know the, the deal with Twitch. What set are you on? You did five. I did five, yeah. All right. Let's have you do um, some shoulder shrugs real quick, too. Oh, okay. Um, you're probably short enough. You can do them here and everybody can see you. We'll have you do... Uh, a set of five shoulder shrugs. I'm gonna do another set of them right here real quick. Remember, really squeeze when you get to the top. And remember, I, I started my workout, I was over 260, and that was a year ago. And I just had a pair of slides, started doing a thousand crunches a day, and then got a set of dumbbells. Oh, oh. And then I, uh, I picked up this power rack, you know, to have like a family hobby. So I can lift weights with my sons, so I can lift weights with my girl, and so I can lift weights with my parrot. I want to get my parrot super ripped. Like, she's already benching the bar, you know. She's like, she get her feathers going, lifted up with her beak, you know. Yeah. She's looking at me like, yo, she's looking at us like, that's cap, uh, she's probably going to say, right? All right, here we go. Let's have you do another set of those. Uh, five, right? Yeah, well, you do five. I did ten the first set. <laughs> oh, you're going to do, um, we're going to do reps of ten, five sets. Here's a little workout I always like to do, too. And I was just going to say the same thing. We are both like our brains. Great minds like, hey, think alike. Water. <laughs> yeah, water is so important. Like, you know, it's hard to understand. Like, it's like water doesn't make sense. But, like, I really got to get in a gallon a day. And she's got to get in a half gallon a day. I mean, I'm six foot three. I'm five four. I weigh 210. So, you know, I need a gallon at least. Unless it's like super hot, I'm doing a huge workout, then I might drink even more. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't understand the importance of water until I started lifting weights. I was on a uh, Reebok commercial in New York City with uh, Ray Lewis. And uh, we were working on a commercial for a few days. So we got a lot of time to just hang out together. And great guy. He played for the uh, Baltimore Ravens. And uh, he kept preaching to me about the importance of water and being good to your mom. Those were the two things the man talked about me all day. And uh, it didn't hit me until later when I started lifting weights, like what he was talking about with drinking water. I mean, but he was a pro athlete, you know, playing football, pro football. So for him, you know, he was smarter and wiser. He understood the importance of water. Mm. But like um, kale, it's full of water. Mm -hmm. Spinach is full of water. And trees are also full of water. A tree is 80% water. And the human body is also 80% water. So like a tree, we need to have, be strong, have strong roots, and uh, drink lots of water. So, you know, don't drink too much, of course. Yeah, don't drink too you much. Know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, make sure you at least get in that half gallon. Unless you're like six, over six foot or six three, like me. 
Drink that gallon. See, I drink two of these. So. Yeah, that's a half that's gallon a half right gallon. there. Easy. Two of these. Two of those, real quick. And then, I mean, it seems hard. I mean, I have to drink one of these. That is not that hard, you know. Even if it just takes you all day and you're going to the bathroom all day, don't worry about that, you know. As long as you get your water in, um, you, you'll feel better. Your body will feel a lot more strong. <clears throat> and your mind, or your mindset, too. Yeah, that make you, um, your head feel better, you won't get headaches. Yeah, you won't get headaches. Ah. <sighs> I love being here on uh, Twitch. This is fun. Um, as long as you keep coming back every day, whoever's in the room right now, we're going to keep being on Twitch streaming every day. Wow, you're so impressive. And she's been doing my workout series for about a month. I've been back on it for a year. So right there is proof that this workout does work. And you can modify it too. Like when I crashed, uh, I crashed a police motorcycle in LA a while back. That's how I got this scar right there. And uh, so, you know, I couldn't even lift five pounds for a while. I couldn't wipe or anything. I couldn't walk very good, you know, but um, some physical therapy and some over the years, like I strengthened up those little muscles and work my way back and you know in life it's like no matter how hard you have it somebody else out there has it harder you know so it's uh, important to remember that and remember that you're strong and you're gonna get through this and we gotta think back like uh, you know our, our ancestors are blood like like I, I'm a Viking I come from uh, Norway is where my great grandparents come from so sometimes I feel like you know, the blood from my ancestors and my soul like makes me strong, like a Viking. So you gotta reach for that inner beast and uh, work out hard and know that you're gonna get there. And even just a little bit every day. Just keep working at it every day. How many sets you on? Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta use the finger method. I lost track. Trust me, I don't care how smart you are. Do the finger method. Yeah, it helps a lot. Yeah. Um, I say we'll call it four. Do one more quick set of those and we'll move on to the next one. I'm going to do another set of these. Let's kind of stretch it out a little bit. Remember, today is chest day. So today it's about following our heart. And we're not listening to our heads. You're not going to listen to your mind. You're going to forget everything that you think you know about fitness. You're going to forget all of it. And from now on, you just got to come hang out with us in this Hit It Hard series. Or you can go back to my Best Shape of Our Lives series that I did. I did a bunch of episodes and uh, on that, so you could maybe get some inspiration from that. And uh, let's see what happens next. What should we do next? Well, see if she remembers the workout. I'll do the single um, belt curl or dumbbell. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. That's a nice one. This one, it's like, pretty cool workout. I like that you remember that. Like this here, it's, uh, you know, it's not part of my core workout, but it's a good workout. So it's good to throw in. As long as you revert back to that core workout, this is a really good one to add to it. Let's see, you hit it hard. You just grab that one dumbbell. You just lift it up like that. And it doesn't matter if the dumbbell is like five pounds. That's cool. 
This is like I said, I, I couldn't even lift five pounds through a part of my life. I'm gonna do that one with you. Yeah, it's awesome being out here on Twitch, like, because I can talk about, like, my parent, I can talk about my, my kids, and, uh, you know, I can, you know, show everyone, like, more of my true self, so it's pretty fun, you know. starting to get a little sweaty almost. We gotta make sure my, uh, I usually work out so hard that I'm just drenched in sweat. Like when I get into beast mode, when I'm really hitting it hard for a reason, then I'll get in beast mode and just drench my outfit. So I'll get in the shower just with my clothes on because it's so wet and stinky and stuff. So I'll just jump in the shower. But I'm not like training for anything now. You know, I'm not doing, uh, you know, in train mode or anything. Just kind of training for life right now. But having my son live with me has uh, given me all my power back and my dreams and uh, uh, made me uh, to remember to believe in my dreams and to always remember to believe in the things that you can't see with the naked eye because those things are real. So just like that, you know, your dreams may happen and come true. So it's, uh, it's fun for me to, you know, feel like a young man again and to, you know, be inspired, you know. And I get to lift weights with him and stuff, too. One day, maybe he'll come lift weights with you guys, with us. Another set of these. Sometimes um, I got all these uh, different songs in my head, so like if I'm like jamming. Yeah. <laughs> I know they have music on here on Twitch that like that they own that you can play. So like it'd be fun. Like later we'll add some music to our show that's like has no copyright, and then we can have her sing because she has a beautiful voice. And you just like make up some stuff on the spot and sing. That would be fun. <laughs> yo, Ryan's never been this quiet, yo. She's yeah. like, yo, come on. Let me go back to the bedroom or something. Like, But you look pretty happy, Ryan. You just chilling. What's up, little baby? You just chilling. I kind of want to sing a song, but I, <laughs> I get nervous. Well, I'm not sure the uh, copyright stuff. You'd have to sing an original song, probably. That would maybe 10 seconds of a song or something. We'll get to sing it later. We don't want that sergeant coming back here. You ready for another set? 
Oh, do we play? Do we play any sports? Did I play any sports? Like. Oh, sports. Let's see. I ran cross country. Oh, thanks, bro. Track. Yeah, she's really into like track, and she did play a lot of sports. Like she used to play like basketball with uh, one of her family members. And uh, what else did you do? The cheerleading um, is yeah, a sport. Yeah, cheerleading. And, uh, I did cheerleading for um, wrestling. Oh yeah, she wrestled cheer. for a minute with boys. Yeah, actually. I wrestled, but I was like, <laughs> I was like third grade, <laughs> you know. Um, cross country was my favorite favorite sport. I love running. Growing up, I was like. I was like the kid that was always out hanging out till like the street lights went down, you know, like, you know, I was, I had a fun time growing up. I got to just go play like football, like backyard football. Although that wasn't my favorite sport. My favorite sport was basketball. I played basketball like every day, like every single day. And I played baseball. I was a uh, first baseman, a first baseman. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I played first base, and uh, I loved playing baseball. I was in Little League, and then um, basketball is my thing, though. Like, I played basketball every single day. Like, uh, my favorite team is the Chicago Bulls. I used to watch, like, Michael Jordan play. Like, he was probably my only role model, really, in life, uh, Michael Jordan. And, um, but, yeah, I used to play... Uh, it was fun, you know, you just go out back, get a game going, and uh, play with the neighborhood people. And even um, when I moved out to New York City to be an actor, I uh, would get some uh, softball games going over on the east side. We'd play, and if, if you hit into the uh, river, it'd be like an automatic home run. Oh, cool. But, um, sometimes we only had that one ball, so we would try to not hit it out. We'd try to just be like, you know, hit it out hard, but not too hard, you know? But, um, it was fun out in New York. I got to play, like, sports and commercials. Like, I played in uh, Madison Square Garden one time. I got to play hockey and uh, an Avisa MasterCard commercial. I slam a guy on the ice and then uh, come around and get a slap the shot in through the goal. So that was fun, playing sports with, like, that Reebok commercial with Ray Lewis I told you about. And Nike commercials, playing basketball and stuff like that. But it was fun. I loved playing sports on commercials. It was uh, pretty fun, you know, to get paid, you know, to go hang out and you get all this food, you know, the craft oh, service table, like you get the you get on set and you get the food truck and they serve you all this food, anything you want. I'd always get a bacon, egg, cheese, quesadilla. Oh, it was so good. And they got to feed you or you get paid all this extra money and stuff. And then you got the chance, you know, sometimes you be like, oh, you know, I can get upgraded or something, make more money or something. You know, so a lot of times it was just, you know, mostly doing background work on commercials. Um, but oh. it was fun. Like one time I made like uh, 20 grand I made on one commercial. He was um, in, um, do you know the movie uh, Uptown Girls? He got yeah. to meet Brittany Murphy. Yeah, and, uh, rest in peace. Yes, Brittany rest Murphy was peace. a really cool girl. Like, she was running around on set, like singing and talking, like, like in her own little world, kind of. She was really cool. And um, I'm just like chilling, smoking a cigarette. I have like long yeah. hair in the scene. He's in the movie Uptown. Like Girls. my lines got cut out, so it's not a big deal. But he's si he's got his hair See my all hair like long. parted, cool. Couple seconds he's like smoking with Heather Locklear. Yeah. But really sweet girls. Too bad Britney's, you know, not around anymore. Yeah. But uh I I I'm, make sure I'm that's a huge her. fan of Britney Murphy. I am. Yeah, she was cool, like mostly I, I talked to Heather Locklear all day. Like me and her just like chat like we had a connection, like we had chemistry, like so we were just like talking all day, like to each other. So I didn't talk to Brittany much, but um, she seemed like an interesting girl. Like, she kind of reminds me of um, um, what's a girl on Sex in the City? Um, oh, Sarah, Sarah Jessica, Jessica Parker. Parker. Yeah, 
when I met Sarah Jessica Parker, she was the same kind of like singing, like we were getting lunch on Sex in the City together and we're in the food line and like she was all like, I was like, oh, you can go ahead and go in front of me, ladies first, you know? And she's like, oh, thank you. And she's all singing in her little, sweet little self. But, uh, hey, we gotta keep hitting it hard. What are we doing talking? Oh yeah, we're talking about sports. Got me talking about like playing some sports and New York and stuff. <laughs> but now I get to play basketball with her and my, my son. My youngest son and I play basketball a lot together. And my oldest son and I love to do boxing together. And he's also a good skateboarder. And really good skateboarder. We're going to get him into all these different sports now together. So it's really fun. Like when he was a little boy, he loved basketball and all sports. So it's fun to see him, you know, loving the same stuff as me now. All right, let's keep working out. You ready? Yeah, I'm all sore now. My yeah, no hands, time to get lazy. Arms. What are we doing? Uh, oh yeah, let's get back on the dumbbells. I mean, yeah, dumbbells. Dumbbell time. And uh, then we'll do some bench pressing. Maybe actually we'll do a little bench press right now. Let's change it up a little. Oh, okay. We'll have you do the uh, the bar weight first. Oh, wow. Heather uh, Lockley, their grandfather, owns a restaurant called Fuller's Near. That's where he lives. Oh, wow, that's awesome. That's cool. Yeah, like, you know, I've met a lot of celebrities, and, like, she was one of the nicest girls I ever met, Heather Locklear. She was really sweet, cool. All right, let's have you hit a set of 10, just the bar. This is an Olympic-sized bar, so it's 44.5 pounds. All right, we'll just call it 45 pounds, though. It's a lot easier. So it's only 45 pounds. You got this, babe. Oh. You can do 200 push-ups. This is nothing. I know. Just work on your breathing. I got your back if you need it. And then you got to uh, flex when you get up. All right, I'm going to take this weight off real quick. And here's how we're going to do it. We're going to be doing at least three to five sets of each weight. We'll let the lady decide what you're trying to do. Three sets of the bar, and then we'll add uh, the tens. On and then, uh, okay, yep. That's the classic way to do it. I mean, you can really like hit it hard, go for a five, but we're gonna do it the classic way. And later, we're gonna be tripling this workout. Cause like when we lift the forty dumbbells, say, then next we're gonna lift the fifty, and then the sixty. So we're gonna do three times the workout later. And this is my workout, and it works. 
my sons do the same workout and it works for them. And my girl does the workout, I do the workout. So it doesn't matter who you are. This workout will work. Ooh, second set. And uh, you can also adapt the workout to make it work for you. You know, make, take this workout and be like, well, I can't quite do that. But I'm going to switch it up and kind of do this, you know, to do it my kind of way that I can do it. Like, same for me with my, uh, my injury from crashing that motorcycle. You know, I had to do it, like, I started doing the uh, Viking flies. Because I couldn't do a chest fly. Impossible for me. Even with five pounds. So I started doing the Viking flies like this. I got strong that way. So just, you know, modify the workout to make it work for you. All right, next step for me is to just throw these 45s on nice and easy. Normally I've always worked out alone and uh, I bench press 400 pounds, but now I take it easy, you know, at home and stuff. Oh, no, nah, I don't need those. But I do need some water. Here it is. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> oh, that look cool. Oh, we should show the tree off, too. Check this oh, out. Oh, yeah, check out our tree. Tree is compared to me. Yeah, it's a nine footer. Oh. Cover your ears, I have to burp. <laughs> <laughs> scared to burp or uh, grunt or do what you gotta do during a workout you gotta get strong all right here we go oh thanks so much oh are you ready a funny story about that tree you want to tell them how we got that tree Dumpster dove it, that's right. I'm not shy. We got that out of the trash. Yeah. And it's, uh, we looked it up, it's like over a thousand dollar tree. Yeah. And like, I'm, I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm too like cool and too famous to, uh, <laughs> you know, take a cool tree, you know? So yeah, we dumpster dove that tree, so we're really proud of it. Cause it, you know. It makes the house look nice. like. It, it's a really pretty tree, I mean. And it proves that some of the best things in life truly are free. Yeah. So seek those free moments and uh, maybe seek those free dumpster dives. All right, you're up. Okay. set coming up. Right. Because I did the 200 push-ups already. And yeah, you're amazing. You're so impressive. And then I'm going to add, maybe add the 25s. Uh, we'll go with the 10s and then the 25s. All right. You got this. And she just started her workout journey like a month ago. She started hitting it hard. She was actually doing an hour-long jump rope every day. Nice, beautiful set. All right, so you got the first little set done. Easy. And remember, it's not about how much weight we're doing. It's about being consistent. Oh, I was going to help you with that. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> you know, it's about...
about being consistent every day. You know, no days off at first. When you're training, forget what they say about working out three days, taking a day off, and all that crap. Forget that. You got to work out every single day. You're training for, like, battle right now. You're a warrior. You're training for life. You got to get strong. Strong in your soul and your heart and your character and everything aside from just your muscles. All right, let's hit it hard. Forget anything negative that someone says to you. Forget that. If they say you're not doing it right, forget about that. Because if you're doing it, you're doing it right. So just keep doing what you're doing. And never give up. All right, let's have you hit another set. This time, you're going to be doing some tennis. Go and throw this all the way up top if you can. You got it? You want me to get a bit? I think I got it. Yeah. Nope, I don't got it. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> a little spot for you. Thanks, Mom. Uh, drop a dime on there. All right. We'll go ahead and throw these little clips on for you. Sweet. So, yeah, I'm really excited because this year, like, I must have been good or something because Santa has my son home for Christmas. So, I'm really excited. Me too. Alright. I got this. You got this. And not just for Christmas. You know, he lives here. Maybe one time he'll come out here and work out with us. So, that would be super fun. Keep your breathing good, you're strong, you're powerful, you've got this. Keep your breathing. Rawr. Growl if you got to. Woo! Felt good. Go and throw that dime up high. Oh wait, actually, it's my turn. What am I thinking? Um, so actually, what we'll do is just leave that dime on there. Yeah. And then, um, We'll just grab these. Help you see. I'll come get that one for you. I'm gonna start on like that. Make it a little easier. So nice and easy. I'm just throwing another dime up on there. Yes, beautiful. I did get an early Christmas present. So it's been uh, it's been beautiful having him, you know, inspire all of us. And, um, you know, having him live with me, it's really cool. Oh, thanks for saying you like how it's decorated. I think we got to throw, like, some tinsel up on there. That would be really cool. We put uh, candy canes up there. And sort of add some more family type stuff to it would be cool. And then you can just put the 45 here. You're oh, yeah. strong. You got that. Just use your knees. And... Take this. No, you can leave it there. Oh, just put on a little is good. I'll just make sure I spot you real good. All right. This will be my second set. Yep.
to sit with your breath. Yep. Breathe in on the way down, and then breathe out. There you go. Make sure you really work on your breathing, on your reps. Am I at eight? Yep. Two more. Give me two more. One more. One more. Good. Yeah. Got her in. Nice Woo! set. Nice. You um, lost track of your breathing just for a second, but you got back on track. Good. You got to really focus on um, breathing. Like when you're going down. And then on the way up. Really get your power from your breathing. Yo, what's up, other person? Make sure you follow us. You never know what we might be doing. We might be having some chicks come over to talk to. We might be hanging out with our parrot that's right here, who's the most awesome parrot in the world. She says thousands of sentences. She's an African gray Congo parrot. And we're gonna do some cooking, some boxing, yeah. some uh, weightlifting and hit it hard, of course. And uh, maybe some gaming too, you never know. We might be oh. coming on playing some Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> or some Minecraft, those are a couple games I like. So I'm just running with a 45 and a 10 on each side. Easy. You can come over on this side by the tree. Oh, so that, sweet. Then you can talk and stuff. Hi. Just make sure you don't go up here. Watch out. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> that could have been bad. Yeah. The booty sends the uh, your big butt. You gotta watch out for something. <laughs> Not all the way. So weird. So. All right. Let's get this next one off. Ready? Yep, ready. So we got the boxing gloves over here. Maybe me and her will do some sparring. Uh, maybe we'll start dropping down some ink on her skin. Four set. Show them your uh, tattoo real quick. Oh, um. Check this out. We did this in a live broadcast. Which one? Like, I'm not a tattoo artist, but. Oh, this one? Story is my son got a tattoo gun, and then I yeah. started ta doing tattoos. This tattoo. Check this out. <laughs> Check that out, isn't that cool? I have his name there. Oh, that's funny. I'm glad you got a kick out of it. Thanks for watching that one. Oh, wow, it's uh, nice and smooth. So it'll be fun to do some tattoos on here. I'm, I'm not sure what Twitch is all about yet. We're kind of noobs. I got all these other ones. This tiger right here. It's pretty cool. Jigglypuff. Oh. You can see Jigglypuff. Yeah, she has uh, 23 tattoos right since May. And then so uh, my favorite, these two. Oh. Yeah, we got some new ink. The original ink that we had was like, I think she's allergic to it. So this new ink is really going on smooth and easy on her skin. And I'm getting a little bit better too. It was just kind of like a fun family hobby, you know? And then, um, oh yeah, here's mine. I started tattooing. I did this on, I think I did it on Instagram and during a live video, oh, maybe a regular cool. video. I like it. I got a sword. With some Viking runes all throughout, and then I have uh, some different Viking symbols and stuff. Right. Oh, careful! Oh, I'm good. Oh, okay. My leg here too. Stand it up. All right, we gotta keep hitting hard. Your set's up. All right, this is my fourth set. Yeah, fourth yep. set. This tattoo on the, below my sword gives you guidance and protection. 
All right, let's see you hit another set. Hit it hard. Make sure you follow me. And as long as we get like, you know, one of you coming to our shows, that's all that matters. We're gonna keep being out here on twitch.tv slash Jamie Ski every day. Good breathing, good technique. Awesome set. Was that set number four? Nope, that was set number five. Oh, nice, what am I on? Uh, yeah, let's do another one. Yeah, let's throw some more weight on there, though. Here, let's go like this. We'll go, we're gonna throw a quarter on there with that dime for you. And then we'll just throw the next weight on for me. Oh, wait, I'm going more up. Here, yeah, I'll uh, give you a hand right there. You wanna pull this one off? Let me pop this one on. I'm gonna throw that one on. This for me. Oh. You're like, heck no, I'm not doing that, right? <laughs> and you come over to the side, baby. There's your mark right there. All right, here we go. Gotta make sure, like, you know, no matter what's going on in life, like, you just gotta make sure you keep hitting it hard, follow your heart, never listen to your mind, don't listen to what other people say, unless it's me, you can listen to me, and make sure you just hit it hard every day, and know that you're beautiful, you're awesome, and you are succeeding, you are doing it. All right, let's get in another set. Keep stretching over there a little bit. Jump up and down a little. Get a little motivated. Here we go. Hitting it hard, everybody. Alright, you're coming up next. Ready? Put this one up here. Um, I did my five. Oh yeah, so now go ahead and take the quarter off and the dime off. You want to put just a quarter on each side, okay? Oh no, a quarter. So take them dimes off and we're gonna put a quarter on. Make sure you, if you haven't followed me yet, make sure you follow me now and check out my social media. Go to my Instagram at our awesome adventures. Follow me there, check out my reels. And then you'll find all my other stuff too. And you can go to my TikTok. Just type in Jamie Ski, you'll find me. And check out my books. They're really uh, dear to my heart. Just type my name into Walmart or Amazon, and you can find my books. I will be right back. Okay. Oh, I'm getting a little hot. We're 
We're going to do a thousand crunches in a little bit. I'm going to do a thousand crunches and then she's going to do a thousand. And together we're going to get ripped. Here's what I'm looking like right now. Like I feel comfortable in my body now. You know, it's like more in the body like I'm supposed to be in, you know. Starting to fill in a little bit. And now I'm just going to lose a little bit more fat, build a little bit more muscle, and not worry about how fast I do it. You know, just a little bit each day. Do a quick pull up. Stretch it out a little bit. Flex the chest after the workouts. And just know that you, uh, you are building muscle. You are growing, you're getting better every day. Your soul is growing, your heart is growing. And remember, don't listen to your mind. Because like your mind is always gonna trick you. Even if you're the smartest person in the world, your heart is what's true. So follow what's true, follow your heart, and find beautiful things in each day that are like awesome, like like a little bunny rabbit eating a carrot in the wild, or maybe a bird flying by, or a, a beautiful sunset, or a smile from someone you love in your family, or maybe a hug, a kiss, or maybe uh, your pet says something cool to you. Or, oh wait, maybe your pet doesn't talk to you like mine does. Maybe your dog will bark at you or something. But, um, you know, seek those moments in life. And remember, the times you feel like giving up are the moments you're about to win. So don't give up, keep going. Even if it takes you 10 years, 20 years, Maybe it'll take you a year, maybe it'll take you a month. But the time doesn't matter. It's like more about the work that you're putting in during that time, the growing each day, the relationships you're building, and the muscles we're about to get shredded. Let's hit it hard. You ready to hit it hard, everybody? Make sure you follow me right now if you're not following me already. And we're going to be here on Twitch every day. We're gonna be doing some boxing. Me and her's gonna be doing some sparring. Like, um, let's see, let's do the standoff. If you guys stick around, we're gonna do this boxing match here. Like, here, we gotta go mat fight face to face. Ready? Like, I can let her punch her, I me mean, as hard as she can in my stomach. And uh, we could see if I flinch or something. Or I could teach you how to make my food. I make some really good Italian food I could cook. And we might do some tattoos. Maybe I'll tattoo my name on her. Uh... Oh, yeah, we already, already did, that did that in a live broadcast. Oh, if you can see it. Jamie's Ski. But... On the back. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's so sweet. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> oh, yeah. That looks really good there. That's all right. Let's hit another set out right there. Almost forgot where we was for a minute. Hit that set. You ready? Wait, I'm hitting that number. Look. Yeah. What? 25 <laughs> is all you. All right. I almost forgot we're on Twitch. Like, it's almost like you guys are just here hanging out in our house with us. It's like we're just hanging out together. All right, so this set, I want you to focus on your breathing. And yeah, it seems like a lot of weight, but it's not. 
you did 200 push-ups a little bit ago. I know. So, I mean, if you can do 200 push-ups, you can about, get this. That was an hour ago. Yeah. So. All right, let's hit another set. You ready? <laughs> you can do it. I know, You're a Viking. Like, You're tough. Uh, oh gosh. Okay, ready? Remember breathing. That's like the hack. It's like the uh, cheat code right there. You just gotta breathe, and you can lift all this weight. Breathe in, all the way down. Breathe out. Hit it hard. Oh, you got God. this. Come on. Do the best you can. Even three reps is good. Get it up off the rack. Hit it. Down. Push no, it up. Push no, it up. Breathe. No. Breathe. Push. Push. Oh, God. Push it up. Push it up. Nice. Good. That's all it takes, you know. You don't have to get a bunch of sets in there. That's really good. Going through a dime on the other side. We're going to get some more weights. So I can throw more weight on there. But for now, we'll just throw that on. We got um, we got a 45 on both sides, and then a 25 and a 10, and then the bar is 45. All right, here we go. The people that are joining now, if you were to see what I did earlier, I did 200 push-ups on the mat over here. Come over by the tree, love. Oh. Watch out, though. Stretch your neck to the side. Stretch it to the other side. This is for you too. Put your neck down. And then rotate it around. Rotate it around the other way. And you don't want to put it backward too far. Stretch out a little bit. Keep your energy powered up. Come on, we're going to get through this workout. All right, now we're going to take this 45 off right here. We're going to take that dime off that side. Put it up there. You think you can do it? No. You don't. Oh, you know why? You aren't drinking enough water. You need to get your power with drinking water. Get some water. Drink some water. Good stuff. 
Oh, I'm going to do one more set of this, and then we're going to get back to the uh, free weights, the dumbbells. Oh. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen live. I've actually never dropped the weight before, but I just did. At least it wasn't over by Ryan. Are you all right? Drink some water. Huh? Sit on my bar. Oh no, it's scary. Oh, it's okay. Ooh. Oh man, that feels good. You flapping your wings on me? Do that again. Woo! Yeah. Thank you. That feels like so amazing and cool at the same time. Thanks, little baby. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Such a sweet girl. Yeah, you are. Yeah. You want to sit on the bar? Yeah, how about you go just kind of close to it? It's there okay, baby. It's okay. There you go. It's okay, honey. It's okay. Hey, you go up on my shoulder where you belong. There you go. I <laughs> 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 uh, will let her chill over there for a little bit. Hey, little baby, you gonna hang out over on your top of your cage there? She'll be happy over there. Hi, Just gonna make baby. sure she don't eat my, my stuff. Hi, you hang out over there while I lift this? Hey, Ryan, it's okay, okay? It's okay, I'll do a thousand crunches and she'll do a thousand crunches. She's just milking it for some attention. Come here, little baby. Oh, oh gosh, step up. You're okay. Yeah. Hey, little baby. Yeah, so I'm excited to hang out with everybody and we'll hang out with Orion. We need to have like a, our little like podcast kind of set up. Orion can sit on a perch with like a mic in front of her. Be like, check it out, Orion. She's a little shy. Here, we'll bring the mic over. Here you go, Orion. You got to talk into that mic. I think you got a lovely voice. You'd be a really good broadcaster. Mm -hmm. You'd stream your own show for sure. See the mic here? Talk right into there. She's super shy. Once she gets to know all of you, like, you know, she'll open up a little bit and, you know, be a little less shy. She actually says thousands of sentences, and uh, she, I believe, can also see the other side. 
I'll tell you some stories about that when we're not uh, lifting weights. Oh, you're so pretty. And Orion is an African gray Congo parrot, as you can tell with her beautiful red tail right there. And she is also the smartest species of parrot in the world. You're the smartest in the world, you know that. Uh, and in my opinion, of course, I'm a little biased, but I believe she's the smartest parrot in the world. That's right. And the prettiest, too. Aww. Mm -hmm. Pretty little girl, aren't you? Yeah, it's weird. It's like, have you ever had like a dog or a cat or something like looking at something or barking where you're like, yo, what is, what are they seeing? Well, with Orion, she can talk and tell you what she sees. So we'll tell you about some things on another uh, show that Orion has seen. All right, you ready to go chill over here some more, baby? Step down, pretty girl. There you go. All right, so now let's take off this. Go ahead and take off that tin over there. Actually, yeah, drink some water. Your lips look uh, dry. Can you grab my water for me? Yeah. I'm gonna go first. chicken or hamburger probably. Alright. Well, I'm pretty, uh, pretty uh, sore. And yeah, she started off with the 200 crunches. Yeah. I mean push-ups. No, push-ups. 200 push-ups. Push and you did them like a boss. Like a, a, like a Viking warrior princess. <laughs> So now we're not done with the workout yet, but we're getting close. So if you're working out with us, just hang in a little bit longer. We're almost there. I got like a little kink in my neck right here. A little knot right there. Oh, there we go. Got to crack a little. Oh, good. That's yeah. good. Helps when you just kind of stretch a little. Like, gotta really make sure you stretch every day. Oh, it's beautiful having all of you here. Um, make sure you follow me. And together we can create beautiful things and awesome moments. And just remember, you know, to keep following your heart. You know, in life, like, people are going to trick you, your own family, your own friends, and your own mind is going to trick you at times. So make sure no matter what happens in life, in relationships or work, uh, love, life, your career, whatever it is, you know, you follow your heart because your heart is true. Your heart's never going to lie to you. It might hurt you, but it's going to be worth the pain because uh, following your heart and staying true to yourself is beautiful and it'll help you build your character. So make sure no matter what happens in life, follow, follow your heart. 
It's important here on chest day to remember that we're building not only muscles, but we're building relationships, friendships, building our soul, our heart, and our minds too. But we're not going to let our minds trick us. And we're not taking any days off. We're going to work out every day. We're going to do a thousand crunches a day. Oh yeah, we're going to do the, yeah. the thousand crunches. And you can just do like, say, a hundred. But make sure you do those hundred every single day. Forever, for your yeah, lifetime. You don't have to do a thousand crunches a day. But even if you just do 50 crunches or a hundred, you know, and keep that constant um, reminder that you've got to do your crunches... Let's get back on the free weights. Oh. Jump up, baby. Pop up. Next is military press. We already did our Viking flies. So that's easy. Now we're just on to our military press. Easy workout. press something. Huh? Entertain for a second. Oh. I'm just forgetting dinner about pulled out. Can you just entertain, talk about something? Um. <laughs> You're a cheerleader. Do a cheerleader for something. Drink some water. case where you're wondering what she was doing she was feeling just a little tired you know we have been doing a pretty long workout yeah for so like two she's hours. like she's like yo i'm kind of like tired and stuff which is awesome you started with 200 push-ups mm -hmm. i mean if you're being lazy you know sergeant would come back in here and like tell you to get down and do 200 more but you did good 